Hello everybody and welcome to another coring video. Uh, this time in Vector, which as you can see I've already had a few pot shots at. Uh, I was uh, just trying a, a different way of killing it um, and then someone informed me that the video I already recorded for this had no uh, voice on it, which is not very helpful. Um, I thought with this one I would try and shoot its thrusters, slow it down uh, to make it easier to call. Um, so far I've been somewhat unsuccessful. <laughs> I'm not very accurate with the artillery when it's moving away from me unfortunately. Uh, I do need a bit more pentax so let's fill that up. The other problem I've got is there is something invisible here and I don't know what it is. I don't know if anyone's seen this happen before but there is clearly something there. I think it is actually Infector. Bear in mind it shields down slightly. Um, but apparently I can't see it, which is a bit of a pain in the backside. Let's keep an eye on that effector down there. Is it shields dropping? No, but mine are. Oh no, there you go, they are dropping now. But I'm going to have to... This is why I've lost one of my uh, laser cannons, because I was getting hit when clearly the ship is not in the right position. Unfortunately, when you play on the servers, this happens quite a lot. Uh, it can happen in single player, but there you go, it's disappeared now. So now it'll be behind me. Just another wonderful bug in the game. I was wondering why I was still being hit, even though I was uh, nowhere near the ship, but now we know. So hopefully it's not bugged anymore. I should really be taking shield impacts at this range. The range of the uh, infectors is actually quite small, but we'll, we'll get its shields down again. You can stay quite happily 800 meters away from it, and you won't really take any damage. You can see my shields aren't being touched now. The place to shoot these is, you see the rings on the side of them, um, like I said you can try and slow it down by shooting its thrusters, which I have had an attempt at doing already but was largely unsuccessful, uh, or you can just shoot straight through the side of it, um, it is the quickest way in. It's about 8 blocks or so from the side of the ship, uh, of which 4 or 5 of them are air blocks, um, as in there's nothing there. So you can quite happily shoot away until you get through the side. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip in and dip out so I don't miss. That way I can try and conserve my shields a little bit. So that black dot in that little black circle is what you need to hit. So I'm just going to dip in and dip out. My guns outrange it so it'll keep the shields down. Loaded. Let's go back in again. You can see now it's turning. They're a bit, they're a bit of a pain. They twist and turn quite a lot. They're a bit of a nightmare. These things. Basically, the core is in the middle of the ship, pretty much behind that blue section, which is now our cross, pretty much. You can see I'm aiming forward of what I'm actually trying to hit. You kind of have to. Fifteen percent shield from one shot there. This is the problem with these things, they take chunks off. So you need to be careful, I'm going to have to dip out after this next shot. two of the guns that do that, so if you're not careful, you take two hits from that, that's when you start losing bits off the front of your ship like I have. Well, I'll let our shields regenerate. I'll stay just over a thousand away from him, just over a kilometre, which should allow some of the laser turrets to hit him, just to make sure his shields don't recharge. 
don't have to shoot through them again. Apparently he's hitting me already, which is strange, but... I think he's a bit bugged. He's not reporting his position correctly is the problem. Shields are down, I'll just let ours recharge a bit. There is another way to fix this problem, which is just to leave system and come back. He's still hitting me, but I don't think he's anywhere near me. I'm going to reset him just to make this easier for everybody, so give me a second. Right, I've left system and I've come back. Um, so we're heading back in now. So yeah, anyway, the uh, there's four loot crates in the bottom of the ship. There are two loot crates right at the top of the ship, right next to where the quantum container is. And there's a couple of other ones which you have to sort of try and find. It's a bit of a pain. The insides of these is a bit like a maze. They're a little bit crazy inside. Um, they're not my favourite thing to shoot. I try not to, whenever possible, at least. Um, the loot from them, aside from the quantums, is not great. If you consider that the consumers have, what, of the 10 or 11 loot crates that are on them, um, six of them, I think, are ultra epics um, they're easier to kill uh, so I mean the only reason really for killing these is if you want quantums but if you're going to kill something for quantums you're better off shooting a Tianlong um, these would probably be the ship that I would consider not shooting if it's all possible for the sake of the video we're having a go at it uh, it also seems to be moving away from it which is why it's taking so long all the time, doesn't matter what you play on, doesn't matter if you're on a server, single player, um, it seems to be a long-standing issue that's never been fixed. Um, it's even worse, I think probably people have seen in other videos I've done where I've been in the drone regions where um, you've actually got like two or three nullifiers around you even though they're completely invisible, uh, which tends to be a problem, especially in drone. It's a bug that happens a lot. There's an interceptor. Okay, luckily his shields haven't regenerated the same as mine since I've been out of system. Uh, which is potentially another way of cheesing, uh, not allowing their shields to regenerate. But I would never advocate such a thing. So, let's get back on it. Uh, I don't think we're on the right side of it, though. You see there, I've not actually started taking shield impacts yet. Whereas I was taking them at about one and a half kilometers before, which is obviously not right. Stay out at about 800 meters, we should be fine. It, it's shooting me a little bit, but you can see it's barely doing any damage, so. The majority of its guns seem to work inside of about 600 meters, so as long as you keep out of that, you're all right. So normally I have infrareds on this ship, um, but I've changed them to gammas for taking the shields down more than anything, but the infrareds will probably be a bit more useful at this point. Well, I'm not going to change them now. So, it shields down. I think, unfortunately, I'm on the wrong side of it, though. Which I am. So let's quickly just scoot around the other side. <laughs> I 
see how quickly my shields go when I get within like 200 meters of it. It's, uh, you don't really want to do that, but... At this point, with it being bugged, I just want it dead, so... We're nearly through these blocks. are going all over the place, they're not even hitting it in one spot, which is a bit of a pain. Alright, I can't take another shield hit, let's get out of here. Cheeky shot on the way out. Something is still hitting me. Let the shields regenerate. The shields are nearly back, so let's go back in. So even with the amount of anti-shield that I have, it still takes a while. Fortunately, we're on the right side of it. in again. Should be able to get through it this time, I think. Or actually has two disruptor cannons next to it. Uh, or shockwave cannons, one or the other. Um, you can actually target them and it'll show you exactly where to shoot, but basically, as soon as we get through these outer layers here, I'm going to have to recharge my shields again, I think. Inside of it, you'll see a bunch of the, uh, the blue stuff again, but um, it's in like... Wait. 
which you can target, uh, of course. So I'm going to quickly, this is probably a bad idea, but I'll do it anyway. Good idea when there's one not far away from you. Risky. There's all of them. Okay, so turret, mounted weapon, turn all that off, a yeah, bit of pentac, Suggest nobody ever jumps out of the ship in the middle of legacy territory and does that, by the way. It's not a great idea. You can see the infrareds now, I've actually got the range to shoot it. Gammas, by the way, they're, they're fantastic against shields, but the range is only 500 meters. That's the problem with them. Infrared's range, I think, is 900. And of course, they're better at blocking entity damage, so they each have their uses. Shields are nearly gone. They hurt. Maybe we can actually see inside it from here. Yeah, not quite, not just yet. <laughs> Been that inaccurate this time, there's not going to be much left of this ship by the time I kill it. See, that's hitting the back of the ship, even though I'm aiming at the front. I don't know what it is about these ships in particular, but... There you go, it's dead. <laughs> They're a nightmare. Um, I would suggest nobody ever tries and shoots these things. They're horrible. Um, I'd much rather shoot at the eradicators and things like that. All right, let's have a quick... See where I've actually got some space in this ship. Um, there's not a lot of space in here, but it'll do for now. So, let's go in. Let's core it first. So, loot-wise, as you are looking at the bottom of it, if you imagine the thrusters are at the bottom, at the front, you go straight through the middle of these turret, uh, turrets, not turrets, they're engines, straight through the middle of these thrusters, and you'll be presented with this room. With four loot containers in it. Uh, a dark matter container, interesting. loot in the grand scheme of things. Um, you then proceed to the top of the ship over here. There is two containers here. More importantly however is uh, where is it? 
can see it now. The quantum container is here somewhere. Uh, you can get it from the control panel if you've caught it, which I have. Unless the quantum container is dead. No, it's, there it is. You can just access it. Don't need to find it, but it is around here somewhere. Um, I'm prepared to find it so I can show you. There is one here as well behind this generator. There's the quantum container. So I've already emptied it. Um, now, the other loot containers in the ship. There's a few things in here you can loot if you want to. Warp drives here. Uh, there is a shield generator below us, I believe. I'm just checking around here. There's the shield generator. It's a legacy one. You don't get anything terribly interesting off it. Just all the usual basics. Uh, inside this little hidey hole here, there's a couple of T2 RCSs if you want to grab them. Uh, as for the actual loot containers, those are the ones I've grabbed before. There is actually also a radio isotope generator there. Um, but trying to retrieve it, you just get a generator out of it. It's not very helpful. Uh, there's some tanks with some bits of stuff in it if you really want them. Now what you're looking for for the rest of the loot boxes is inside the maze that is this ship. It's probably easier just to go straight out the back room of this. Go past the thrusters, preferably without getting set on fire, which you shouldn't do unless you turn the ship on. Now what you're looking for back here is the lifts or elevators or whatever you want to call them. Um, Finding them is usually the problem. This ship is an absolute maze, it's a nightmare. Uh, let's just quickly go inside here. So this is where the core was. You can see here that between these two disruptors, or shockwave emitters, as they are. So obviously we've come through the side of the ship here. Uh, if you can be quite accurate instead of the complete splatter that I've done all over the place, uh, you've only got to go through, well, there would have been a block here. Two blocks. Shockwave emitter, cool. There is actually a uh, heavy window in the way, or two. So two, three, four, technically five blocks is all you need to go through before you get to it. Uh, in theory, nice and easy, if you can stop the ship uh, when it's moving, it's a bit of a nightmare. So anyway, um, the other containers are a nightmare to find. Um, it's usually best just to come through the outside of the ship somewhere. Let's try going through here. I really do hate this ship. No passion. I'd just like to point that out. Uh, okay, I think it's down here. Down here we should get to where the lift blocks are. Okay, so when you find these lift blocks, uh, follow the outer edge of the hole all the way around. It kind of dips down under itself. Where these little green bits are, go behind that. There you go. There's one. There's a schematic in it. And there's the one on the other side. Uh, I don't think there's any other loot containers on the ship. At least not any that I know how to get at easily. There might be more. Uh, as far as I know, there isn't. Someone will be able to correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure they will. I'll have a quick look around, but I don't believe there's anything else really of any use here. Uh, obviously, you can salvage this. As you can see on the right-hand side, it does count towards the Alien Hall Blocks mission. Um, and it might be worth doing if that's what you're after, but other than that, you try and salvage these things on the side, you're not going to get them. You try and retrieve them. All you're going to get from it is a disruptor charge, as you will see in a second. Which is great if you actually have some of the guns and need them, but otherwise completely useless. And if you just try and salvage them normally, got some little bits aluminiums, I know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, nothing important. Um, so yeah, I would, I, unless I actually need the blocks for like the mission, which I do, but I'm not going to do it now, um, I pretty much won't do anything else. Boxes at the bottom. Three loot boxes at the top by the quantum. Total of seven, and then there's two more. Which, as we are looking at the ship, I believe they might be probably be helpful if I told you where they were from the outside. So we did just dig a hole out of the uh, outside of it. 
and see if we can find it again. Go back into the bird's nest that is the inside of this ship. See, the problem is it isn't on this ring here. It's on the, um, the bit that sticks out. Let me get out of this thing. I really despise the ship. <laughs> it's worth me doing a video for, but I really hate this ship. Um, where is it? I mean, that's that inside ring that you were floating around. It's going to be probably through the front here, isn't it? This is where the plant and container was. Yeah, it's down these corridors down the side, I think, isn't it? Yeah, so we go all the way past the lifts, all the way around, and then through here. So I'm going to dig out, straight out from here. And we can see exactly where the containers are. Okay, so the thrusters, basically, you want to go straight through the middle of those two thrusters. Seems to be where to go to get those boxes easily. Right through there. Seems to be a little cut out bit here. I don't think I did that. Uh, maybe I did. I don't know. But it's between them thrusters anyway. So that's where you can find those ones. So there's those two between the thrusters. There is the three loot boxes. I spin it around. At the top of the ship. Next to the quantum container, and then the other four and the radioisotope generator, which you might as well salvage because there's no point trying to pick it up, is straight from the front of those engines. So there you go. Hope you found this useful. Um, now I've done the video, hopefully I'll never have to shoot one of these again. I don't like doing it at all. Uh, but yeah, um, let me know if there's any other ships, etc., that you would like to know how to kill easily and loot, and I will try and do those next. See you soon. Bye bye.